What's up, everybody? We're at the cabin. Y'all remember this place. We're gonna hop in the Ranger, cruise on down there, and get up in the deer stand, and hopefully put an arrow through something tonight. And we're gonna get in here in the truck. Got a little something special for them. A little rice brand. If you know what that is, it's just rice. It's been like powder. <laughs> it's all, all the leftover powder they, after they produce rice. So we're gonna put all this hunting gear on, put all my camo on, and cruise on down the woods and hopefully kill something. Maybe Gibson will get up there and stand with me and be my cameraman and I, or I'll film him and he shoot some. I don't know. We're gonna get up there and hopefully one of us shoots something tonight. So it's gonna be a good night. Beautiful, cool evening. So here we go. What's up, guys? Hey, I just got to stay. You need a tracking job. So I had to adjust for 30 yards and put it right on her and just shot her and killed her. When she, I knew she was about to start blowing. So I was like, if she blows, she's dead. So once they bust you, they bust you forever. Well, we'll just wait till dark. She, she ain't hard to track. No. I shot a doe. She's up there on the ground. Dropped her. Can't do better than that. We're gonna try to kill a hog or something else. Freaking awesome. Got his doe down. She ain't but 20 yards right there. I spined her, dropped her in her tracks, and I had to put a second one through her and kill her. But part of it, no track job for me. It's kind of want to track one tonight though, but that's all right. Go down. Gotta go pick her up. Hop in the mule. 
I'm ready to go get that sound gun. Go get my dough. Done drop right here. There she is. Nice dough. My second shot, I had to put her down right there. Broke a blade off. It's a good one. Good job, we're gonna get her back to the cabin, clean her up, and then we'll have a back strap for dinner. Or tomorrow, back strap. Tagged up, ready for the next one. <laughs> All right, well, we got her strung up. About to get to work, clean this puppy up, and cut her into steaks and some burger and all that good stuff. So glad I shot this doe. Shot her a little higher and a little back than I thought I wanted to, or than I wanted to, but hey, I dropped her in her tracks. Had to stick another one through her, but uh, didn't have to go tracking for her. Kind of wanted to track one down, but it's all right. I don't think I'm gonna video the cleaning process, but I will video the cooking process. So I'm gonna get after it. I got her cleaned up, got her in this cooler. Got to run to the store now and get some ice. It's a good day when you gotta go buy some ice to put on your deer. I'm pumped up. First deer of the season. Got me a good old doe. Probably about a two or three year old doe. I bet, probably three year old doe. Got a lot of meat. Got everything. Got the ribs and everything. Back strap, tender loins. All in the cooler. Tomorrow, I'm not gonna do it tonight, but tomorrow, you'll see me in the kitchen. We're gonna be cooking up this deer. And I think I'm gonna smoke the ribs or we're gonna have tenderloin a certain way. And uh, I'm telling you, it's gonna be good, I promise. Also got the heart, so that's gonna be, stay tuned for that video. We'll cook that heart up. Hey, I might even do it tomorrow for a little appetizer. So stay tuned. I'll see you in the kitchen. One last thing. Make sure you have evidence of sex when you're traveling with your deer. State law. What up everybody? Hey, it's the next day. Got in late last night after shooting this deer. And uh, hey, we're gonna cook them up today. What I got, we're gonna cook these ribs up. I got the electric smoker outside warming up. And we're gonna put them on a smoker, smoke them. I think they're gonna be pretty good. Never cooked deer ribs before, but I think I got a little recipe I got up my sleeve and uh, I wanna try it out. So I'm gonna trim these ribs up a little bit, season them up, throw them on a smoker. It's gonna take about two hours to smoke, so we got a little time, sit back, drink cold beer. I'm gonna cut away most of this white fat and uh, some of this bloody stuff. I'm gonna leave most of the meat on there as much as I can. Deer ribs, they're not very big, but there's a little bit of meat there and uh, I wanna try cooking them. So what I'm gonna do, get after it, trim all this stuff up and uh, yeah, get them on the smoker. I just made a little score right here. And I'm getting my knife underneath here and pulling this membrane off the best I can. I'm gonna make the ribs not as tough. And uh, this right here will dry on there real, real hard. Put a little salt on there. My drip, my uh, my rub's got salt in it too. Just not a whole lot. And I want a little extra salt on these ribs just, just cause. All right, now they're salted. I'm gonna let that one sit for a second. Kind of pack this salt in. And then the weird part. Mayonnaise, just real mayonnaise. I'm gonna cover them in mayonnaise, season them with my dry rub. The dry rub's gonna stick to that. And uh, you probably won't taste the mayonnaise, which I know you won't taste the mayonnaise. It's just gonna coat them. And mayonnaise is kind of fatty, so it's gonna keep them moist. And deer don't have a lot of fat, like all venison. So it's gonna help with a little fat, you know. Just put some mayonnaise on them, just rub it in. Don't take a whole lot, just, just enough to coat it. All right, so now that you get your mayonnaise on there, take a dry rub, just cover them in the dry rub. This is a coffee dry rub, I made it myself. So I got the smoker going, and uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna cook them at, for two hours, and uh, for one hour, we're gonna let them smoke, and then I'm gonna cut the smoke off and just let them cook for the rest of the hour. And uh, hopefully they'll be done, 
You'll tell when they're done when the bones start shriveling up on the meat. They're pretty thin and uh, get them on the smoker. All right, let's put these ribs on the smoker. Oh yeah, she's smoking good. There we go. So I just got the meat on the smoker. Got to set for two hours and one hour on smoke. Sitting at about 220 right now. I'm gonna vent the thing, choke it off a little bit so it keeps the heat and smoke in. And uh, we're gonna let them sit and do their thing. All right, so while I'm waiting for the ribs to get done cooking, what I'm gonna do is crack me up in a cold beer. Hey, get you a cold beer. You know what time it is? It's beer 30. I don't know if you can see that. The top, the whole thing comes off. Pretty neat. Got this pull tab. Whole thing comes off. El Chingon. I don't know, I don't speak Spanish. It's got a rooster on it. It's pretty good beer. Four Corners Brewing Company, Dallas, Texas. 7.3% alcohol, 72 IBUs. It's an IPA. Oh, that's a good beer right there. Really good beer. Too bad all beers don't open up like that. The only thing bad about that, you drink them way too fast. I got these beans going. We're gonna have these with our deer ribs. Kind of weird, but the other night we had beans and cornbread and these leftover beans, I'm gonna re them and make homemade bean burritos. Gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna drop a link down in the description below to a video by a guy named Kent Rollins. Check him out. These beans, the refried beans are damn good. You have to try it. We're gonna go rub some of this barbecue sauce on the ribs and then let it sit for another about, I think it has 20 more minutes on the deal and we're gonna let them glaze up and turn out really good. So here we go, come on. All right, oh, you know what? It's gonna be hot. I'm probably gonna get a glove. Well, I got man hands, I'll grab that shit. Woo, it's looking good. We're gonna slide this one over, close it up, keep the heat in. That is looking good, but we're gonna put some barbecue sauce on there just cause, keep it moist. Put a little barbecue sauce on here, rub it all over it, get it all nice and barbecue saucy. You know what I mean? Pull right there, you know? Damn, that looks good. All right, let's flip her. Probably should have not, I don't know. We'll put a little bit on this side. I wear my shoe. Okay. Now that we got barbecue sauce on her, flip it back over. We're gonna put her back in for 19 more minutes. So that's what's left on the clock. Okay, so now that we got them back on, Timer says 18 more minutes, so we're gonna let them sit for 18 more minutes. And it's gonna make that barbecue sauce get all tacky and kind of dry on there, coat them up, and uh, hey, they're looking good. So we're gonna pull them out, 18, 17 more minutes, cut them up, and eat them. So stay tuned for the tastiness. She's done. I'm gonna pull these things out. I forgot a plate. Just don't move. Gotta play. <laughs> Moment of truth right here. Oh. Damn, them dudes, shit is hot. Them dudes look good. Should've got a bigger plate. All right, there you go. Woo! Second one coming out. Oh my goodness. They're looking like they need a little longer. I'm gonna wrap them up in tin foil, stick them on there, 30 minutes. Maybe more, I don't know. We're gonna wrap them up in full. See what happens. Hope I don't run out. Back on the smoker they go. We're gonna give them a couple more minutes, maybe 30. I might give them an hour, I don't know. We're gonna leave them on there for a little while and uh, let them get back to temp. I'll have this thing open so it needs to be warm back up. All right, we'll see you in about 30 minutes to an hour. All right, everybody, I just took these ribs off. I wrapped them tin full because they looked like they needed a little longer. So we're gonna try them and uh, hopefully they're pretty good. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's dive into these ribs. Just took them off. They're hot. They're juicing everywhere. 
Wah, ini mana tu? Ya, semua good. Take it enough. Let's try to cut these things somehow. Tender. They well, they're cutting. Maybe my knife's just sharp. Okay, my buddy's here. He's gonna try that one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Tough as shit. Is it good? Kinda tough. Pretty tough. Pretty good. I'm not gonna. It's not bad. Can't be afraid to chew. Flavor's good. The flavor's good, it's just really tough. I mean, I'd do it again, but next time I probably wouldn't put as much barbecue sauce on it. But they're not bad. Hey, if you like this video, please share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit, don't forget to hit the like button. Stay tuned for more. We got more videos like this coming. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, hey, we'll see you next time. Hi, right, what's up everybody? Here's a little bonus video for you. I'm in the kitchen right now cleaning up that deer that I shot the other day. And uh, here's the shoulder. Check this out. The broadhead. Stuck in the shoulder blade. I guess when she was quartering away and I shot, it went all the way through and stuck in the shoulder blade and broke off inside her. So, uh, hey, time to put that one back in the quiver. Thanks to this guy right here for videoing me. Thank you, Jim. Yeah. It's like old times.